So we want to just assume that A with some operator is a group. I want to prove the identity is unique. What kind of proof do you think would be the best approach? I want to prove there's only one. Assume there are two. Assume there are two. I like that. Yeah. So assume not. E1 comma E2 are identities. That is, they both serve a function of identity. Well, then E1 is certainly equal to E1 star E2. Why? Because E2 is an identity, right? But that equals E2. Why? Because E1 is an identity done by the transitivity of regular old equals, E1 equals E2. So contradicting that they were different, right? So it's, that's a contradiction. So when I assume something and I reach a logical contradiction, what I assume can't be true. So the, therefore, the identity can be in any group. So you'll never find another identity matrix, no matter how far you search in matrices, etc. Right? This is powerful stuff, because once I know this, all I have to do is show something is in a group. If I find an identity, I know it's the only one, because the identity is unique in every group. Inverses are unique. How are we going to prove this? You do the same way. Assume that. Suppose A, B and A, C are both the identity. That is, A has two different inverses. Now, I want to write B as something else. Well, B is certainly the same as B times 1. Good. But what's another way to write E according to what I have here? Associativity, that's the same as BA times C. But what's BA? It's E, right? Because even though the group isn't commutative, when I have I, inverses, the inverse is commutative, right? This, because I'm in a group, this means BA also equals E. This means CA also equals E. Because Inverse is commute, always, always, by definition. But what's B A? Then it's E, right? This is equal to E times C. And what's E times C? By the transitivity of equals, therefore, B equals C, a contradiction. That means no matter what group I'm working with, if I find the inverse, of an element, I never have to look for another one. It can't be another one. Inverses are unique. And then the most beautiful one of all, why I like working in groups, is the cancellation law. <coughs> Uh, 
I want to prove that in a group, if this happens in a group, that B equals C. How do we do that? I proceed the same way, I think. Um, B is certainly equal to EB. And you'll see often, when I'm working in a general group, I will use multiplicative notation without the star. Well, how, how do I want to write that E to get this thing to look like it starts to work? I'm going to need this thing, right? So how should I write my E? How about A inverse times A? I'm in a group, right? But groups are associated, that the operator in a group is always associative, so this equals what? A B equal to by my hypothesis B C. Remember what this really is is a license to substitute. Anywhere I have an A B, I can substitute A C. That's really what equals is. So you have to set up a condition where I have this thing. So that's what I did here. B is certainly the identity times B, and A inverse A is certainly the identity because I'm in a group and everybody's got an inverse. But now I can do my substitution. That's the same as A inverse times um, AC. But I'm in a group, so what can I do? It's associated. But what's A inverse A? B. And what's AC? Therefore, B equals C. So multiplying both sides by the same thing is really not what we do. We could artificially say, well, I just multiply both sides by A inverse. But I don't know I can do that. That's actually a byproduct. All I know is the rules of the group, right? And these are followed directly from the behavior of a group. Now that I've proven this thing, that is, I do have cancellation. I just proved the cancellation law. Now I know in every group I can do this. I can cancel out matrix multiplication in the group of multiplication of matrices. Um, okay. Look for homework by email out of the group section. I will do that soon. And Friday, all we'll do is work lots of problems out of chapter, out of 2.1 and 2.2. So you might want to look over there. We're done.